cut the lead from 14 nothing. It's a touchdown for Cribs. So the second year back from Auburn, airborne to get Buffalo on the scoreboard with 20 seconds left in the half. The one big play, actually two defensively. With that block field goal, that took some of the momentum away from Cincinnati. And then offensively, the 55-yard bomb to Butler. Knox saying, I knew we were going to score, but having played for Chuck Knox in Los Angeles for a long time, he is a very intense coach, and there are a lot of, a lot of acid eating up his stomach right now. I'll tell you that. Big, big play, and this, this extra point is important, too. Meckemeyer drills it through. And with 20 seconds left in the half, Buffalo pulls within a touchdown. The Bengals 14, the Bills 7. Now, Jimmy Davis himself, one of the problems he's had over the past couple of seasons is fumbling the football. See how straight up his body is? Watch the shot he takes. He's literally right up where people can get at that football. He didn't fumble it there. Very important that they're not. And it hooks in motion, and Cribs running the other way. First down. and he did most of that on his own. 44 yards for a touchdown. It was a big run like that from Cribs last week that appeared to put the Jets game on ice. It looked like he was going to be trapped on the left side as he cut out to the outside, but Sidley cut back against the grain and made it on his own. Half good first series on defense and Joe Cribs doing it all. Ran through the whole Bengal team on that side of the field and then outran Braden at the goal line. The try for point by Micah Meyer, and we've got a new game. Camps is a touchdown, and the Bills' second one, 44 yards. An unusual call. It seemed to catch Cincinnati off stride, and Cripps with that great tackle-breaking talent doing it himself. Both teams obviously wanted thinking it was a pass. They had a lot of passing people in the ballgame. 